Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. A few days ago, Lantham, best known for his work on the Wild of Blofeld, challenged us on Woody Pianoshek's Discord server to use his new patch set for the Surge virtual analog synthesizer and make our own music with it. And I'm taking this challenge and to amp it up a bit, I'll use the Raspberry Pi and install Surge from source code and then I'll take a look at his patch set and try to create some music on the Pi. Here we go. The setup I'm using today is relatively simple. It's a Pi 400 running Raspbian and Reaper and an external sound card and a nano key keyboard for entering notes. Just add wires and then move on. Let's continue by installing Surge. As this synth isn't available as a precompiled binary for the Raspberry Pi, you'll need to compile it yourself. And while preparing this video, I found out the current version 1.9 doesn't compile on the Pi, so we'll have to resort to an earlier version 1.8.1. .1. So use the git clone command shown on screen right now to download the source code. Once the download has finished, you'll need to download the Surge modules by using the command shown on screen right now. And then you'll need to update your system by entering sudo apt get upgrade and then sudo apt get update. Also, install all the libraries needed on your system by running this command. Copy the output of that command to your buffer by marking it with the mouse and then press the mouse wheel to execute all those commands. Once all the dependencies are installed, run the build command as shown on screen right now. Building this synthesizer takes around 20 minutes and once it's compiled, use the install command shown on screen right now and then start Reaper or your favorite digital audio workstation. In Reaper, go to the preferences menu and click on plugins. You'll need to enter the path to the search plugin, in this case user lib vst3. Click on Rescan and then you can create a MIDI track using Surge as a plugin. Okay, so here's one more problem to solve. Let's uh, insert our new uh, shiny VST instrument on the track. So right click this area and then say Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track. And we have Surge here in a list. And let's double click that and Here's the new window, let's zoom in a bit so we can read something. And now let's load one of Lanthan's patches here, so click on the patch browser, scroll down a bit, here it is. He has his own category here. Let's select one of the uh, pads and let's take the stereo source here. This is a very nice and lush pad. And now um, let's play some chords. Here we go. Yeah, do you hear that? That's the sound of the CPU being overpowered by Surge. Let's in, um, examine that um, with um, the top command running in a shell here. Well, uh, yeah, let's uh, play some chords and now take a look at the CPU uh, level of Reba here. So you can see it's at 120%, so it's eating up more than one core of the ARM CPU. So there's only one thing you can do about this at the moment, and this is reducing the polyphony of this uh, plugin manually. So uh, on the left top side here, um, move your mouse and uh, scroll your mouse wheel down until you reach a polyphony of 6 or so on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, now let's listen again. see um, there's no more audio glitches and um, that's because now um, notes are terminated uh, once you reach the polyphon account of six notes played simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs> Another way of dealing with this is to overclock the CPU. Edit the file slash boot slash config.txt 
and find the line arm underscore frequency and set it to 2000. After rebooting, this will boost the CPU clock to 2 GHz, which might or might not increase the polyphony of your synthesizer. Okay, let's try some sounds first. Um, yeah, and this one is called Deep Space Nine. Let's see, it's a lead sound. And they said it's velocity sensitive, so let's try that. called Jacob's Ladder. Alright, this one is called Jump Drive. This one is called Norwegian Attic. Alright, let's listen to this. Alright. This is a bass sound called Fundamental. Okay, let's try some bass here. Here's an electric piano called a uh, Crystal EP. Okay, let's listen to this. Oh, this is nice. Hmm. All right. I think I'll try some more sounds and then I'll try to create a track in um, Reaper and I'll get back to you later. Okay, so I laid down some cards uh, in Reaper and uh, using this stereo source um, pad by Lanthan. Sounds like this. Yeah, I don't want to go dancing today. <laughs> Alright, um, now. Well, I think um, if my theory is right, um, um, only one core of the CPU is stressed by um, these uh, plugins, so it should be okay to add a reverb plugin on top of this. Let's try this. So I'll add, uh, for example, um, the TAL reverb here. And uh, yeah, let's make some adjustments a little bit of low cut, a little bit of high cut. Room size to deal with, oh, oh. for example, this. Uh, okay, and um, let's listen to this. This is great. And see, I'm right. Um, there's no audio glitch because this is one running on the second CPU core and it's much better optimized than um, Search. Alright, um, now a trick um, so we can work around um, the CPU limits uh, imposed by Surge. If you work in Reaper, just right click the track and then you can uh, just render this track down to a stereo audio file and playing back that uh, will of course not stress your CPU at all. So yeah, let's uh, right click on this and then press on apply track take effects to item as a new tag. Let's do this. So here it goes, rendering uh, this sequence. And there you see it now we have um, the audio graph here and let's take a look at the CPU and um, let's minimize this window just a bit. Take a look at uh, the Reaper CPU um, stress level here while I play this back. There it 
is. Okay, next track. Um, I'm going to use um, the patch named Acoustic Square. Um, sounds like this. And uh, yeah, let's just use the step sequencer here. So go into this freshly created MIDI item. And the step sequencer is already turned on. Uh, let's use eighth notes here. And I'll just add a, a short sequence. step sequencer and I'll just um, copy this and paste it here and now I want this to be a little bit um, shorter shorter like this all right okay and now uh, once again let's add an effect here for example um, a stereo delay Okay, so this is what we got so far. Okay, let's add some drums now. So insert a virtual instrument on your track. Let's use Kala, which is some kind of VST plugin host that also happens to be able to load sound fonts. So Insert this one, and now here you can see uh, we've got the folders of file system here, and here's one sound font containing rock, rock drums, and yeah, let's insert that, and now I can play that. Let's listen again. So far, so good. I'll just keep adding tracks now and um, then I'll record a whole track. And um, watching a DAW doing its thing isn't that exciting. So I think I'll um, just uh, create a video using uh, stock footage or things I filmed myself and sprinkle some of my improvisations in it. So hopefully, there's going to be an interesting video. Yeah, here we go.
Yeah, and that's it for today. I think the result was quite okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing and please also visit Lanthan's channel. It's uh, somewhere here or here. Uh, link now and um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.